Hi everybody. Uh, tonight I am going to disassemble this perfectly beautiful Canon printer. I'm going to tear it apart into a million pieces and reassemble it so that we can print ink theoretically on top of a cup of coffee or an espresso on the Zipwhip Techspresso machine. This little printer comes with these normal inks. You do not want to eat these normal inks. I'm not really sure what would happen. But we're going to replace them with these spectacular little guys from a company called Ink Edibles. Uh, these guys make uh, ink that has food coloring in it so you can eat it. And we've got all uh, CMYK here. And so the hope is, if we can pull this off and tear this thing apart, that we can rig it into the machine and have the robot arm slide your cup of coffee after it's poured and print your phone number on it, your name if you're a zip-up user, even your picture uh, if we get enough resolution out of it, um, and uh, of course the zip-up logo. So let's see how it goes. Okay, I want to give you a quick walkthrough of what we've got here to drive this uh, edible inkjet printer for the Zipwhip Techspresso machine. We've got an Arduino uh, running some uh, custom code, and that is connected to an Easy Driver chopping stepper driver. All of that is connected to our uh, linear stage driven by a Lin Engineering stepper motor. Um, this has got a little bit of a custom rig. It's fairly temporary, um, but it drives this little stage and uh, it's on a little lead screw. So as this thing rotates, um, you know, the lead screw slides along. We also have um, the setup with the printer that uh, has the edible ink in it and that um, is something that we graciously tore apart over the last few days and kind of exposed the guts. We kind of hope to clean it up a little bit more to make it fitting for the machine, uh, but that's where it's at. Okay, we're getting ourselves um, our cup of coffee here so that we can do our test run. And this is the uh, Jura machine that does our um, that's kind of the basis of the entire Techspresso uh, machine. And uh, we just to make sure we get a nice layer of crema here, like we're going to have on a normal basis, because that is what we're going to be trying to print on. Okay, we're going to do our trial run here now. We've got the uh, cup of coffee on the um, linear stage. And we're going to go ahead and actually send uh, the typical printout. Now, I'm just going to print my name on it for this run. That might not be what we actually do on a normal basis, but we're going to give it a try. We might just print the last four digits of your number or perhaps just the company logo, but this is our test. Here it goes. We're waiting for the printer. We're, we're sending the commands in, and it's going. Get the first chunk. And the next. Now, I see it already, the spacing's a little bit off, but it's generally the effect we want. It's coming out right now. I'm going to grab it here in a second. Take it off the stage, and then I'm going to show you. I can get this in focus. 
that came out. Now there's a little bit of a gap, but we just got to do a little bit of uh, measurement on the timing. But other than that, I think that we've got some good success.